Okay, so now we're up to hole 14. This is a 479 meter par five. And as you can see, this is a great looking golf hole. There are two large bu pot bunkers on the left and right hand side. Uh, it's downwind today, so they're probably reachable. Uh, if you could be just short of that, that is ideal. Uh, some of the longer hitters try to go straight over the top of them. Um, today, if I can just keep one down the middle, I'll be fairly happy. Uh, left hand side, again, is probably your miss. Right, there's a lot of bush, and so we want to try and probably keep it down the left hand side. I've popped it again. Okay, so unfortunately I've found the bunker on the left, but it's not the end of the world. We've still got a shot and it is a par five. So I'm probably gonna to wanna to stay to the left-hand side. It gives me a good angle and there's plenty of room on the left-hand side as well. Um, two things I do in a bunker. So one, I wanna take um, enough club that I'm gonna make it over that, that large lip. And two, I probably put the ball back in my stance just so I make sure I clip the ball first. So I've got an eight iron, I've got the ball back and hopefully those two things I can get this ball out. Okay, so about 70 meters from the green. Uh, pretty large green, this one on 14. It really runs away at the front, so uh, don't try and get too cute and put it right next to the flag, because if you leave it short, it's gonna run all the way back down. You're gonna have another 20 meter chip up a hill. So I'm just gonna make sure I get it over that front hill and hopefully have a putt for birdie. So this is the hill I was talking about. If you are end up short, that is gonna run all the way back down. So hence why I tried to make sure I stayed up on the green. So now I do have a birdie putt and I'm not chipping still. The only problem from being back here is now I have very fast putt down the hill. So if I can put this within a foot of the hole, I'll be pretty happy.